Hey guys, it's Jim. So I was thinking it has been far too long since I did a hair tutorial. I used to do loads back in the day on my old channel, which accumulated quite a few views. I used to do VO5 products all the time, and I used to make hair tutorials quite frequently. So as you can see, my hair is damp and looking a bit of a state right now. Um, I've just shampooed and conditioned it in the shower, um, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a sort of textured fringe look. So I'm going to be using the American Crew Moulding Clay. Um, it's a really good product I've been using recently. I purchased it off mankind.co.uk or .com I think. I'll link it below but it's a really great website where if you're based in the UK because American Crew is quite hard to get hold of over here. Um, they sell loads of male grooming products um, including American Crew, Hans de Fuco, loads of ones that are really hard to get in the UK and they ship them here and it's a great website so I'll link that down below. So before I carry on talking with my hair looking like this for much longer I think we should actually get on and do something with it. I'll need the hair dryer, that would be useful wouldn't it? Tricky getting back into the same position. That's what happens when you have really long legs. Okay so this applies when you're doing any hairstyle really. Whenever you want to style your hair Always make sure you use a hairdryer and blow it in the direction that you're going to be wearing your hair. So obviously if you're doing a quiff or um, sort of just fringe up style, textured that way, you want to blow it upwards in that direction. Today we're doing a textured down fringe, so we're going to be blowing it from the back and from above to get it going forwards. So as I said, all that I've done to my hair so far is shampoo and condition it and I've literally just towel dried it a bit. I'm just going to go over it once more just to make sure it's a little bit drier because you don't want it to be absolutely sopping wet, basically. And now I look like Dougal from the Magic Roundabout. So one thing that I use to texture my hair quite a bit is salt spray and I've just got this one from Catwalk by Tigi. Again, I got this off mankind.co.uk, really great website for things like this as well, so um, make sure you do check it out. So I'm just going to be using a few spritzes of this in my hair, sort of all over. We are going to be using a bit more of that later as well, so keep it to one side. And then basically what I like to do is just scrunch my hair forward sort of with this motion with my fingers. That's weird, isn't it? Just sort of putting it forward, roughing it up. And now we're just going to dry it in. Also, if I am looking this way, it's because I've got my mirror here, so please excuse me. I have it on a medium heat setting, you don't want it too hot. Um, but the reason I also use salt spray while my hair's still damp before I use the hair dryer is because it gives it a bit of protection, this one. So that's great, you don't want your hair to get damaged from the heat or anything. <laughs> I just realised I put my candle out behind me. That wasn't a great idea to start hair drying with a candle going, was it? Also, just to point out, as you're doing this, again, carry on with the sort of hair roughing motion because that will help add texture to your hair. Now, my hair is not... Now, as you can probably see, my hair is not 100% dry, but it is almost there. It won't take much longer. So it's at this stage where we're just going to add a bit more salt spray because now my hair's dried. This is going to add texture to it. Like, there's two ways of using salt spray. If you add it in while your hair's still damp and then you dry it like that, it sort of gives your hair that sort of salty beach effect. And then if you add it in at this sort of stage where it, your hair's almost dry, and then you dry it through the hairdryer again, it really adds the texture that you want. So just a bit more of this. Make sure you add it to your fringe as well, but don't eat it, I would recommend, because it is quite salty, as you would imagine. And now we're just gonna dry that through, uh, again, doing the scrunchy motion. And now you can see my hair is dry and it has loads of texture, which is what we want. It's brilliant. That's what I love the salt spray. So again, just play with it as you like. Just sort of pulling it forward, scrunching it up a bit. Um, and once you've sort of got it how you want it, as such, we can then add the product. Also, my hair is quite long at the moment. Um, it just seems to really want to grow quickly at the moment. I swear, I'm going to the hairdressers about every two weeks. It's ridiculous. But it's just the right length on top that I can still do this sort of texture down style. Because when it gets too much longer, it's actually long enough to put in a top knot. Not that I ever wear a top knot, but 
when it's at that length, it's quite hard to do this look. So this is the sort of length that I've got it at the moment, which is why I'm showing you while it's this length. How many times did I just say length? Length. Length. Now is the time for the product we're going to add. American Crew is obviously quite a high-end product. I think this is about £10. So it's a little bit cheaper than Hans de Fuca, which is about £16 a pot. Um, but because it's such high quality, you really don't need a lot at all. And also, it's really great for your hair. It does nourish it. When you wash it out, your hair feels really nice and looked after. So, yeah, you don't need a lot. It's always best to go to have less than you need to begin with obviously, because you don't want to put loads in because you then have to wash your hair again and start all over again. So just add it in on your finger and sort of rub it around. Get it on your fingertips. It's the most important thing for adding texture because that's where you want to ruffle through your hair. So now it's all sort of melted into your hands. Just um, start at the back, I tend to, and with your fingers, do the scrunching motion. Like I, I never thought I would be doing that motion in a video that many times. Like. So just add it in, make sure you get your fingers in, sort of lift and add underneath to add the texture and work your way towards the fringe. Don't forget the back and sides as well, that's quite easy to forget sometimes. Pulling it forward, roughing it up, adding loads of texture. And that is sort of how I like it. If your hair is anything like mine um, and it's just crazily thick then you might have to add a little more product than most normal people which I tend to have to do quite a bit so don't be put off if you're having to put a bit more than that in that's completely natural just depending on what your hair type is the same if your hair is quite thin and you might need less I think I have put just the right amount in for once actually so that's not too bad um as you can tell it's not a completely matte look this molding clay it gives how, does, how do they say it um, medium shine um, but it's great for adding texture everyone's messaging me stop please so yeah great product adding texture um i haven't quite finished yet i am gonna add a little bit of hairspray just to make it last and um as you're putting this in you can still ruffle a bit again and just add a bit more texture as well don't need loads of hairspray because it doesn't taste that nice either Play around with it until you're 100% happy, which I, I could do for hours, so it comes to a point where I have to just tell myself to stop. And there we have it, the finished look. So as you can see, it's a textured, down style, and um, not 100% matte, it's a little bit shiny. Um, so it, it's, it's an all-round style, really. You can wear it anywhere, really. Like, you can wear it formally, um, if you dress up, it still looks good, or you can wear it just really casually. So, it's a great style, um, quite a lot of different hair lengths as well, like, even if your hair is shorter, you can still do the same sort of stuff. Um, and this product really does have great hold, so I'd recommend that if you can get your hands on it. So, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already, and tell me what tutorials you want. If you want more videos like this, let me know, have a little conversation with me down below, and I'll start making videos like this again. If you have any particular products you want me to do, any high street brands as well, which I know are quite more readily available to most people, so let me know and I'll see what I can do with them. And until then, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching, goodbye.